dancing all day, riding in golf carts, playing pickleball. Could I be content in Florida's most famous 55 plus community? This is fun. I'm Suzanne. I visit the country's most popular retirement destinations. The refrigerator sings. Checking out homes. It's singing, come get a snack. Looking for lunch. And most importantly, <laughs> meeting the people who might be your neighbors. So strap on your boogie shoes. Let's go see what living in the villages is like. Plus, take a peek at nearby Del Webb Spruce Creek. Yeah, of course. The villages literally blew me out of the water. There are endless swimming pools for adults, sports, and families. It's hard to describe the astounding variety of recreation centers. Eisenhower reminded me of visiting the White House. Look at all these carpets. I mean, these are not trivial little things. And the Little Mermaid would feel like a big shot at Seabreeze. How many recreation centers have you been to so far? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how many, because when we first got here, we went to all of them. Here you'll find a remarkable range of activities. I paid a visit to this gemstone club. Just something to do when you're retired. You need something to do besides playing golf. More than just buying a house, moving here can be about starting a new life. Lots of kayaking and... Uh... We got into dragon boating. I intentionally get out of my comfort zone to go. What activities are important to you? Leave me a message in the comments. I can't wait to read them. Anything that you want to do activity-wise, it's here. And it's a golf cart. You can get almost everywhere in the villages yeah, in a golf cart. The villages stretches more than 30 square miles. Each area has its fans. The original developments to the northeast offer tree-lined streets, and a classic Florida resort vibe. While prices change over time, homes here start around $150,000. I stayed in the village of Alhambra with a storybook mix of green space and homes. Nearby, this house just sold for $265,000 with an open floor plan, a screened in porch, two beds, two baths, and a golf cart garage. For around $350,000, this was one of my favorites. I love the bright open floor plan, large bedrooms, and what was outside? Nice little steps. Jump up in the hot tub. It is a good way to meet your neighbors. You're out taking a bubble in the tub. People stop by. In Wisconsin, they brought beer. So many nice people that have the same activities, same interests. If you've ever dreamed of dancing through life, this place can feel like one big stage. You can try partner dance, specialty dance. This beginner line dance class drew a crowd. 365 days a year at entertainment. You can practice your new moves almost every night. Town squares feature live music and the dancers have a schedule to meet up or just do your own thing. So in one evening, I have been to two different concerts and a dance class. It's kinda cool. Spanish Springs is the original town square. It made me think of St. Augustine. I enjoyed relaxing by the fountains, and if all that dancing makes you thirsty, you can grab a drink. People are out having a good time. While Spanish Springs tips a hat to Florida's history, Brownwood Paddock Square celebrates the Old West. Disneyland for adults. Folks enjoy the covered seating for shows, and if it rains, there's always shopping. They have comfy shoes. I was excited to visit my first SAS shoe store. Look at those pink sandals. They know their market. They know their market. Then I dipped into Tommy Bahama. But if a home tops your shopping list, let's go look at some standouts. This three bedroom was packed with memorable features, starting with an astounding lanai. This really is one of the biggest lanais I've ever seen. But the surprise is, didn't stop there. See, open houses in Florida, they give you a massage. There's drinks, Who else there's a massage when they go look at a house? Nobody else. A big bedroom has a bay window, 
and so much storage. Everybody needs a place for their giant ceramic turkey. Even the bathroom had a little magic. Hands free. That's cool. And while you'll find plenty of places to float around here, this three bed, three bath includes a private pool completely screened in. Ha! Ah, I could swim to the sound of that fountain all day and no bugs. Plus a separated suite, handy for visitors or family who want privacy. Whether you want to buy a home in Florida, Carolinas, or you still can't decide, we're here to find the perfect people to help you. In the center of the villages, you'll find Lake Sumter Landing. Fans call it their happy place. Our villa is probably two miles from Lake Sumter, which we feel is the best square. In the southern section of the villages, you'll find what's new. This That's is a little... where we are, south end of the villages, yes. We uh, started in Fenny, the most southern village, and then moved uh, St. John to get a bigger house because when the family comes, we're on top of each other, so we got a bigger house. This was the most luxurious home I toured, designed with creative touches. Sawgrass Grove has a juicy entertainment venue plus a farm market slash cooking school. Golf is front and center. This is like the golf capital of the world. World's largest golfing community. 747 holes of golf. There is an option perfect for beginners. So I'm going to try. <laughs> I decided to give the putting course a go. It's like a mini golf course, but instead of the theme being pirates, it's golf. It's a golf themed mini golf course. Well, at least the first hole was easy. Retiring here can also mean returning to a hobby you thought you left behind. For example, these baton twirlers prepping for a performance. And I heard the drummers and I saw them walk in and they had their boots on and went, oh my gosh, gotta have those boots. Join in and stay a majorette forever. I was so rusty, 42 years away from it. You just, it, it, it really is, but it's fun. A quieter pastime, this storytelling group. Being a West Virginia hillbilly and grew up in a mountain clan, uh, we always had stories. A great way to get to really know your neighbors. Been here 10 years now. The best decision we've ever made. Of course, the Villages isn't the only 55 plus community near Ocala. After grabbing a pretzel at Wawa, I headed to Del Webb Spruce Creek, where I found a peaceful atmosphere and lots of elbow room. Homes here have recently sold starting in the mid 200s. There's the green belt. I appreciated this renovated and roomy two bed, two bath with a great big kitchen. The bathroom here is a really nice size, but it also doesn't feel like it's trying to be a living room. It's a bathroom. Elsewhere in the community, this two bed, two bath offers an open sunny space in the low 300s. While it's hard to outdo the party down the road, folks at the bocce court say they wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It's a lot of fun. So where should I go next? Leave your suggestion in the comments and I might just head there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my picture. <laughs>